you to have it all. Welcome into the kitchen. You know, it's still summer outside and it is warm. So we need like a nice sort of refreshing dish. Rory Shpeezy has come prepared. It is. And of course, our salmon at the Drunken Oyster. I will put up to anyone's salmon here in town and that's a challenge. Other oh, I like it too. It's very spirited of you today. It is. And it's, it's delicious. So the first thing we're actually going to do, we are making a uh, lemon pesto. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna get our salmon cooking while we're making it. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna make you okay, do this. I got it. You know, I, the one thing I can make is salmon. Um, I mean, I don't make it as- I'm just gonna as, stand aside I don't make it as, make you, it. no, usually, here's what I do. I just like slather it in butter and put blackening seasoning on it. That's you know, I mean, perfect, which is like, right? That's, what else? It, then it becomes what no longer healthy. What do you eat your salmon at? I don't know, I don't eat it. I just make oh, it. Oh, she doesn't eat salmon, guys. But Cody says it's really good. Did you hear that they just voted that you can't ha that you can't use the word burger, sausage, anything that refers to a meat? You can't use for about vegan food, non non. Oh, meat really? Food. So what do you call it? They're gonna have to come up with a new name. Well, I like a. I mean, I like a veggie burger. You it's, know, what? that seems silly. I Let's, know. They're, but, they're saying you can't say it. There was a just huge one side. Is that enough, by the way? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. That's okay. absolutely perfect. So we're gonna let those cook now, guys. As I was saying, salmon should good salmon, not farm raised salmon, should be cooked to medium rare, or medium temperature. Okay. And a lot of people are like, ew. For those of you who eat sushi, you no know salmon can be eaten raw. Okay. All right. Right. So over here to make a, a lemon pesto, super super easy. It smells really nice. Um, what I we have basil in here. Okay. Um, I'm utilizing spinach because it costs a little bit less and it makes it go a long way mm -hmm. and you'll never know that there's spinach right. in there. Now you're going to do a tablespoon of garlic okay. or two cloves, whatever you have there. Lots, you want lots of garlic. Yeah, though, right? garlic's great. Um, we're going to use a typical pesto calls for pine nuts. We're, okay. not, we're not using pine nuts. I'm actually going to put all that cheese in there. And then you're going to, because it's lemon, guess what we're adding to it? What? Lemon. lemon. So you're gonna start. <laughs> Is this a trick question? <laughs> you're gonna start zesting while okay. I'm squeezing a lemon juice in it. Lemon zest, guys. It literally people don't utilize it enough. It's awesome. It's amazing. You can use it for desserts, entrees. Is it working? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so. we're squeezing half a lemon into it. I forgot that I was right-handed. <laughs> I was like, why is this so challenging? Oh, because I'm doing some of it. So I had the best time filming my. Uh, oh, I wanted to ask. Barbecue about class. That. It was it was amazing. It was such a great group of people that I got to work with. We started off in Lubbock, and then headed all the way uh, headed up here to uh, do Tyler's you, Barbecue. Do you like this? Do you want more? Yeah, that's great. And if it's not enough, you guys can always add more as you're making it. Okay. Now let me talk, let me ask. So when are we going to be able to see Barbecue Quest? Barbecue Quest will air in October on Hulu. Um, and the way. It's, oh, that's a fast turnaround. Huh? I know. And I, guys, wait until you see the footage that we did, like at Cadillac Ranch, at Tyler's Barbecue, uh, down in Lubbock at. Um, Blue any, Light. Oh my, the blue light, please don't some, judge me no, for what listen, you guys. Listen, I love you and I think you have a great skill set about many things. I don't know that line dancing is, is one of the things you're great at. <laughs> it was the funniest, <laughs> was like, funniest. You had no idea how many times they made us do it over and over again. I mean, you gave it your all, I'm girl. Not, you were committed. <laughs> Some, some of the people working on the shoot got sick. We had to stop filming because we did it so many times. And from doing the same thing <laughs> over, they got dizzy and literally Are got, you serious? Yes, and got sick. Oh so, my, yes. well, yes. that, oh, All what right. do we need? Well, one that, we'll okay. so make sure, food processor works great, you're gonna turn it on. Okay. We're gonna add oil to it. And you can add the oil as you're going. I put a lot of cheese in this because I love Parmesan. You want to add the oil gradually, though, right? Yeah, so you can add the oil gradually. You can use olive oil. If you only have vegetable oil, you totally can. You're going to season it. Okay. We're using Cajun. You can just use salt or pepper. Okay. And then you're going to taste it. Once it's done and ready, then you have pesto ready. Guys, you can jar this and keep oh, it in your nice. fridge for quite a long time. Does that look good? This is, it does look good. Let me just taste it. smells it. really great, for sure. Let me taste, well see, you taste something you, like you could You put pesto on so much though, I you know? I love pesto, it's, a, it's just a great ingredient. And they sell it in jars, what does mm -hmm. it mean, seasoning? Maybe a, little, maybe a little more citrus. Citrus, okay, well you wanna get after it? We're gonna do that in the break, how about that? Is yes. that cool? Okay, we'll finish this up when we come back, y'all don't go anywhere. Well, here's to the hearts that you gonna break. 